Up next on Sugar Variety, is sugar the new tobacco? No, big sugar is big tobacco. A new study just came out of UCSF about how the Sugar Association killed their own research projects implicating sugar in heart disease and cancer almost 50 years ago. <laughs> so what? That's a long time ago. That's exactly the point. Sugar isn't the new tobacco. Big sugar is big tobacco. Big sugar's been doing exactly the same lying dastardly things as big tobacco for a very, very long time long time. It just took longer for us to find out. Big Sugar started buying up scientists to exonerate sugar and blame fat for what sugar does way back in the 1940s when they started paying Ansel Keys to say it was fat, not sugar, that caused heart disease. In the 1950s, Big Sugar executives boasted about their plan to steal market share away from fat by claiming fat was unhealthy. They started with the negative health claim. Then they funded research designed to support the claim. They didn't want facts, they wanted market share. In the 1960s, Big Sugar paid off Fred Stare and the Harvard Nutrition Department and told them to blame fat for heart disease and say sugar had nothing to do with it. Harvard's Fred Stare had no problem lying for Big Sugar. After all, he was already on the payroll for Big Tobacco. Which brings us to the latest UCSF study. Going through old Sugar Association papers, researcher Kristen Kearns found that one of Big Sugar's studies found evidence of sugar causing cancer. Big Sugar's response? They killed the study and didn't publish it. Another Big Sugar study found evidence implicating sugar in heart disease. Big Sugar's International Sugar Research Foundation, ISRF, didn't publish that one either. Kristen Kearns says, ISRF's research was designed to cast doubt on the importance of elevated triglycerides in the blood as a heart disease risk factor. It's now commonly accepted that triglycerides are a risk factor, but this was controversial for decades. Indeed, Kristen, Big Sugar helped create that controversy by burying their own evidence against sugar. Big Sugar funded Super Secret Project 259, which showed differences in rats fed sugar versus starch. When early reports showed that the sugar fed rats had more cancer causing substances in their blood, Big Sugar killed the study only three months from completion. Kristen Kern says, our previous paper and this one demonstrate that ISRF's research program was designed to support its business interests at the expense of the public. ISRF sponsored more than 300 research projects between 1943 and 1972, and its successor organizations continue to fund research. I think it's safe to say the problem is more widespread than what's outlined in the paper. I'd say so, Kristen. Absolutely right. Current CEO of the Sugar Association, Courtney Gain, recently said, Now, 50 years and thousands of studies later, there's still no scientific evidence that sugar causes heart disease. Say what, Courtney? You'd have to be living under a rock or be working as the CEO of the Sugar Association to think that. <laughs> <laughs> As Kimber Stanhope and Peter Havel said in their 2010 paper, recent data suggests that fructose consumption in humans results in increased visceral adiposity, lipid dysregulation, and decreased insulin sensitivity, all of which have been associated with increased risk for cardiovascular disease and type 2 diabetes. Didn't read that one, Courtney? Kind of hard to believe that someone like you with a PhD in nutrition is utterly unaware of the mountain of research implicating sugar in heart disease. Who should know more about nutrition, an audio video engineer like me or a dietitian with a PhD in nutrition? You would hope the nutritionist, right? Well, we'll never know exactly what the Sugar Association CEO Courtney Gain knows about nutrition because the Sugar Association pays her a lot of money every year to keep us confused about sugar. The Sugar Association and Courtney Gain have only one job. They're there to convince you it's okay to eat sugar no matter how much the real science shows the sugar's dangerous and destructive. 
Courtney Gain isn't using her PhD in nutrition to tell you the truth about sugar. She's telling you carefully crafted lies and obfuscations that skate around the truth to fool you into eating sugar without worrying too much. You really should worry if you're still eating a lot of sugar. Too much sugar makes you sick in many, many ways that don't show up right away. And big sugar, just like big tobacco, spent millions and millions of dollars for decades and decades to hide those facts. Is big sugar the new tobacco? <laughs> no. If anything, they're worse. As always, I'm your sweet but not sugary host, Ben Fury. Please subscribe to Sugar Bridey and also please donate to our nonprofit mission to help save the world from sugar addiction. Because stopping sugar addiction is up to us. Thank you and be well.